Well, it has happened. Many of us speculated that it was a possibility. Tiana Peraza, the virtuosa, has made her debut at All Elite Wrestling. And uh, I think as Impact fans, we must wish her the best because she gave us some of the best matches and uh, moments over the past several years. Now, I don't like the way they sent her out the door where everybody's beating her. And I saw the comments. Well, she's she's if she's leaving, she has to do the honors. But if everybody's beating her, nobody is beating her. And the problem is nobody's talking about those losses anymore as far as what they mean for those who won. Because, you know, after Trinity beat her several times, she then loses to uh, Tasha Steeles. And no one's talking about that because there's been no original content since then. She loses uh, that tag team match at a uh, final resolution where Giselle Shaw takes her after out after. No one even remembers that happened because we're not getting original content. Uh, but but to transition back to her AEW debut, if you guys caught it on social media or if you saw the actual episode itself, uh, she cut a really good promo. It was really, really shaky. Um, but we know from watching her in impact that she sounded very similar, uh, but but she sounded extra nervous on uh, AEW programming, and that is my that kind of gives me some concerns that she didn't come off as TV ready when we know that she is. Uh, she's you know was really the best in ring worker that Impact had, and um, you know if you do follow AEW at all, you know that Ty Valkyrie came over real similar pomp and circumstance and uh, wrestles for the title, loses, and then is relegated to Ring of Honor. Um, and Taya had a, a match on TV with Britt Baker, which was one of the worst women's matches you will see ever anywhere. And we know that we're not going to get that out of, out of Deanna. Like, Deanna's a much better worker than Taya, even though we like Taya as well. But, you know, Deanna's damn near perfect in the ring. So... That means nothing at AEW, you know, as far as uh, some of the women go. Um, you know, those who can really, really work. Obviously, they're a wrestling-based company, but, uh, you know, they have their agendas when they push certain people and don't, uh, just like any other company does. I have a hard time seeing her really at the top of the card, but, you know, I, I do believe De Deanna always wanted to go there, but the opportunity did not present itself when she left NXT because – she wasn't marketable. She didn't do anything over there. And her impact work was so good. Uh, multiple time knockouts champion, you know, champ, champ challenge when she was the Ring of Honor women's champion as well. We just don't want to see her end up in Ring of Honor, which I, I think it's I think there's a possibility that that does happen, unfortunately. Um, and I wish that her matches with Jordan Grace were better cemented in the classic knockouts feuds and matches in, in TNA history, you know, with the Gail Kim and awesome Kong and, and, you know, uh, Gail Kim had the match with a, I think it was a ladder match, right. With a, a Ter Taryn Terrell, which was, was something that was really good. You know, like, I don't think it's what they did is going down in the history of those, uh, with those matches, because I just don't think they, really did a good job of cementing them in our brains. And the reason for it was because when Jordan ultimately got her win, it was on impact plus it was, there was no build to it. I know there was a kind of a story already made, but it came across like a throwaway win for Jordan. And then we just, you know, we kind of forget about their feud. So uh, that, that's one thing I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in, but we definitely want to wish Deanna as fans a lot of luck over there because she she never came off like she was an impact for a paycheck. You know, she did tremendous, tremendous work. She was one of the better parts of the show for a very, very long time. And, you know, she should take her talents to the next level. AEW is a step up in wrestling. You know, it's, it's maybe not for women's wrestling. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not – we're optimistic, but we're also pessimistic, you know, about what is what is Deanna's future hold over there. 
we don't know. But she is, you know, she's best friends with Britt, like I said. So uh, if they are able to tie her into Britt Baker at all, you saw what that did for Jamie Hayter, what it did for Rebel, then, you know, she might be in, in, in a really, really good position. And so it's very possible that that's, that's what happens, that she is um, part of what Britt is doing when she eventually returns to television. That would be a best case scenario for her. And even though, you know, Britt has gotten real fucking stale to me uh, when she used to be one of my favorites. And she was actually prior to AEW, someone that I said I would love to see Impact sign because uh, I thought she was fairly TV ready and had a lot of upside and potential. You know, and then she is she is uh, shown us that, you know, she she is uh, she has proved that to be be true. So we'll see what they do with Dion. We just don't want her to become um, Ty Valkyrie 2.0. Like if you didn't see, you know, Ty Valkyrie did the same thing where because Dion is coming in and she's challenging for the title. Ty Valkyrie did the same thing. She came in and uh, she lost. And then she had one of the worst that her match with Britt Baker, if you have not seen it, is one of the worst televised women's matches I have ever seen in my life with two people with absolutely no chemistry whatsoever. I mean, absolutely dog shit. And then now she's wrestling on Ring of Honor. You know? So we don't want that for Deanna. Deanna deserves a lot better than that. But it'll be interesting to see what she does going forward. I just don't think, you know, from an impact standpoint, they did her anybody any any favors by beating her like a drum on the way out the door. Because again, do we remember Trinity? Uh, excuse me, uh, Tasha Steele's win over her. Do we remember Giselle Shaw taking at her out after the match? We don't. 